Welcome back to the Crypto Millionaires Club. Today, we're going to be diving down into the Pulse Chain testnet. We're actually going to be talking about the Blockchain Explorer. You guys probably don't know what this is, but this is the testnet of showing all of the transactions that are going through at this current moment. So today we're going to be diving down into this important information, and then we're going to be talking about what we could possibly expect once the Pulse Chain testnet goes live so we're talking about when the main net launches so let's go ahead and get right into it so ladies and gentlemen we all know that there are many different blockchains out there that have their own nets right they have their own main nets they have their own blockchain network well pulse chain is going to be having the same exact thing so if we dive down into this you guys can see for their own website it states right up here that 40 percent of blocks indexed we're indexing this chain right now. Some of the counts may be inaccurate. As stated, this is the test net. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So if we go ahead and dive down into it, you guys can see we have the blocks. We have the transactions. We have the tokens. We have the APIs. And then obviously it states right here, test net. And this is what we are on at this current moment. Now, if you guys would like to, if you have any type of addresses, you could just post them right here. The states search by address, token, symbol, name, and transaction. So this is technically going to be for any tokens that are put on the Pulse Chain network. All right. If we go ahead and take a look, you guys can see where it states that average block time is three seconds. Total transactions is technically stating that there is over 912 million, which is a massive amount. Total blocks is sitting at 15 million, and it states that the wallet address is over 113 million. Now, the question is, is, is any of this information correct? Well, like I stated, this is the test net. So I'm sure a lot of people are testing out the test net, or maybe Richard and their team are doing it themselves. But my own personal opinion is I don't actually think this is correct. I could be wrong 100%, but this to me is just an example of what it is going to look like. So once the main net goes live, obviously it's going to provide us the transaction per second. It's going to tell us the total transactions. It's going to tell us the total blocks. And it's also going to tell us the total of wallet addresses. I believe, uh, like I said, I don't think there's this many wallet addresses at this current moment. But like I stated, I could be wrong. I think this is just being used as an example. If we go and continue to the downside, you guys can see where it shows blocks. You guys can actually see that everything is moving here. So it just keeps like readjusting, right? So it says right here, signed processing right block sign processing 59 minutes so it's providing you all this information especially when it goes to the blocks obviously everything is in order so we're talking about uh 876 877 so everything is in order here if we go ahead and continue to the downside we can actually click on view all transactions and you guys can see everything that is done here so it says that 27 more contracts or transactions have come in so we have contract call success transaction success we have contract call success we have transaction success so this is exactly how the blockchain explorer is going to look like so i actually like the overall setup the question is 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 it going to provide information such as like bsc scan right we're talking about ether scan is this blockchain explorer going to be able to provide all of the same information that we currently have on these other blockchains all right, not only that, you guys, I want to see if there's anything, if we could check out and see if there's any tokens here. So it does provide a whole bunch of different tokens. You can see we got Tether, we got USD, we got Shiba Inu. So yeah, it does provide a whole bunch of different tokens here. But like I said, I'm kind of curious if this is just an example. All right, so everything does look pretty good. Everything does look professional, whatever it comes to the Pulse Chain Testnet Explorer. So this is good information. We can take a look at blocks. Right, we could take a look at the transactions, we could take a look at what's signed, we could take a look at what's pending. So a lot of information here on this website. So whenever this goes live, I think this is gonna be really up to date. I think it's gonna be extremely professional, and I do believe it's gonna be able to provide a lot of information. So remember, guys, pulse chain, we don't know when it's gonna go live yet. But once it goes live, there's so many things that have to be done. 
obviously the blockchain explorer right what we're taking a look at right now this is going to have to be up to date and it's got to be very efficient okay especially with average block time transactions per second total transactions total blocks and wallet address it's got to provide all of this information and it's got to be accurate right because at the top of the website it states that some of the counts may be inaccurate well it needs to be accurate not only that ladies and gentlemen but we also have to remember that there's a lot of things that are going to be happening with the wallet, right? So we're talking like about MetaMask. There's a lot of things there. And then we got to talk about bridging. We got to talk about the actual test net for swapping, for the exchange, for the liquidity, for the polls. There's just so much information. Now, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. But I think the Pulse Chain Testnet Blockchain Explorer is going to be massive. I think it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for being here. You have a great one. We'll see you later. And ciao.